To make Big Al scalloped oysters, we need oysters. Buy them from your seafood market already shucked. We also need saltines, milk, butter, and salt and pepper. Place two sleeves of saltines in a bowl. Crush them with your hands. You could also place the saltines in a Ziploc bag and crush them with a rolling pin. Spray or grease a two-quart casserole dish. Arrange one cup of the saltines in the dish. Drain the oysters and place one-third of them on top of this layer of the saltines. Put a small pat of butter on top of each oyster. Sprinkle with salt and pepper. Cover with another cup of saltines and another layer of oysters. Repeat this process until you have three layers of oysters. Finish with a saltine layer. Add some milk to the oyster liqueur and pour over the oysters and crackers. Fill the casserole dish with milk until it's full to the top. Place the oyster casserole on a sheet pan just in case it wants to bubble over. I'm going to bake it in a 350 degree oven uncovered for about an hour. These are Big Al's scalloped oysters. I hope they bring your family as much pleasure as they have mine. I'm Peter Harmon, the Food Guru. If you like this recipe and want to print a copy, come to foodguru.com where you can experience the world's first video cookbook. My video cookbook makes learning to cook quick, easy, and fun. Most cookbooks use only written instructions. Try to write instructions for how to roll an egg roll sometime and you'll get the idea. My video cookbook combines three powerful ways to learn. Pictures, written recipes, and videos. I'll walk you step by step through each recipe in only 90 seconds. The video cookbook is different from other cookbooks because it will continue to grow. Each week, we'll add new recipes, tips, and tricks. Your free membership allows you access to this week's seven featured recipes, which are usually seasonal and current. Select the recipe, print the instructions, and watch the quick 90-second video. These recipes will change weekly, and you'll have access to this free recipe section as often as you like.